Hello everyone. It's February 21st and the UGA, University of Georgia Planning Guide, says like late late January to March 1st is the time to plant your your potatoes. And as usual I'm at the wrong end of the curve, so I'm almost out of time. These are some organic ones I bought down at the the Camp Farmers Market, and they have really sprouted nicely. Uh, problem I get with ordering the organic potatoes, which I'd rather do, certified seed, is that you got to order so many, I don't know what to do with them all. So I end up just buying some at one of the farmer's markets or down at the cab farmer's market and get them to sprout. Uh, I usually try and do the baking potatoes or the yellow ones, but the, but the uh, different information is, is that in Georgia, in my area, we do better with just the plain old red potatoes. So since some years I have a lot of potatoes and some years I have almost none, I'm going to go with the red potatoes this year. I've done three containers. We have lots of voles or moles or I don't know, some kind of disgusting critter that, that's mission in life is to eat whatever root crops I plant. So I've got to do them in pots. Put a little wire mesh this year down in the bottom. And then I filled it up with, with pure compost. Uh, this is well-aged, well-rotted, really fine compost. As you can see, and, and there's, there's no shortage of eggshells. Uh, we eat a lot of eggs, dogs eat a lot of eggs. So it means the compost has always got a lot of eggshells in it. That's a good thing for us because our soil tends to be very, very acidic way more so than most plants would like. So the eggshells have to help to bring the pH up. And then I'm always a fan because I can always find it is the garden tone. So, we open. so I'm going to put a little of that in here just so that there's some quick acting stuff as soon as the potatoes are looking for it. And I've got three containers. I think you can only see two. But I believe I got enough potatoes to do three. So I'm going to put some of this in. I think I'll make my mints over here a little happy as they're getting started. It's hard to believe it's February, being in the 70s last few days. So we're going to mix this in. Potatoes are a strange one because you want to you, you, uh, get potatoes off the stems, or they say, so you, you, you want to start down low. And then as the plants grow, you'll add more soil to try and get the potatoes to grow up off the stems also to get more potatoes that way. At least that's what they always tell me. So that's why these pots are only partially filled. So, wow. These really were nice organic, not sprayed for anything potatoes. So let's see how we do here. Looks like I can put two each in my three pots. So, that's what I'm going to do. I'll just barely cover them. So I get just a little bit more depth out of it. And we're probably still going to get some cool nights. So, let's get the roots started down low. Okay. That's all there is to it. As soon as these guys poke out, I'll get a nice mulch on top of them to keep the soil going. I'll put some labels in. These are just uh, red potatoes, small red potatoes. And that's all there is to, to doing them. 